<laughs> yes. Yes, greetings, greetings, everyone. Welcome to a fine Thursday evening with Coop Live 2 server. We actually are doing Coop Live. We did not kick the server over and call it names tonight. It's actually working. <laughs> Don't you like it, Preacher? Don't you love it? <laughs> preacher said in all caps, and I quote, GAH! <laughs> Keyboard Monkey says, What the? That's my, go for the eyes, boo, go for the eyes, exactly. That's my wonderful new um, we replacement webcam artwork. Is, isn't it glorious? <laughs> yeah. That's actually a zoom in on that green screen shot that I had in my head. It stares into my soul. Yep. So I'm just going to leave that on screen for a second while we talk about things. So, uh, mostly just to torture all of you. I, um, also, hi, John. Um, uh, first of all, in case you missed the memo, base camp, uh, my webcam is broken. I am probably not going to have uh, money to buy a new one for a month, maybe-ish. Hopefully less. Probably a month. So it's going to be a while, so I'm going to have some fun with it, like this. Uh, we updated Coop Live 2. We're now in version 1.0.3, if you are playing along at home with the home version of the game. But um, there are some problems that have crept in. It is a beta version of the pack right now, and I'm probably not going to flag it as release. We've already discovered that all of our solar panels don't output power to anything. They don't like touching cables, apparently. They have a thing about no touching... Touch. Other, yeah, apparently they have a thing about touching power cables. So we can't actually get the power out of the thing that was powering our whole base. So guess what we're doing tonight? Right, we're cooking. Good guess. Um, I mean, no, we're doing power. Where did power. that... Where did what? I just received a random alternate solar panel. <laughs> That's the one that I dropped earlier. I threw a second one at you later that you got. Um... Yeah, it was sitting around somewhere. Anyway, let's 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 make the eyes go away. We can shift on over to game footage, can we? No, we can't. Okay, hang on a sec. Got to correct something real quick. Good I think job. I, yeah, I, I started things up in the wrong order. Um, over here, over here. Just a real quick doot doot. That's good. I got to remember to do it over here. And now, dun, dun, dun. it'd be nice to be able to remove at least one item from an AE system instead of half a stack or a stack. Uh, middle click. <gasps> what? <laughs> yeah. Middle, middle click, click is so useful. <laughs> if you put over it and do middle click, you grab one. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I was using refined storage for like six months with TTFT cuts and I finally complained about that. And he's like, Oh, by the way, use middle click. I was like, what? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? He's like, you didn't ask. <laughs> well, that's a good point. <laughs> There's a generator over here. I don't know what it's charging at the moment, but it's not charging that battery. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's go up here real quick. Um, I'm actually going to get up here, and then I'm going to, um... Hi, you're Donnie. Hi, Steve. I think. Oh, there we go. You owe me $30. Probably. <laughs> Lego find uh, some pennies. Yeah, here. start searching Real the quick. couch. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm going to... Let's just... Actually, I put my wrench away. Why did I put my wrench away? Tell me these Because you put it away because you didn't need it at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something like that. Okay. I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna look. You see? They're not connecting. I can't make them connect. They don't want to. Uh, Are you no connector? Yeah, no, no touchy. Okay, I've got speed for some reason, and I have no idea why. Don't know. That's so, not me. <sighs> Whoops. Oh, my FOV is entirely screwed. <laughs> oh, well. So I'm truck to the base at high speed. Do you have a a, 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 a timer on that buff? And I don't even have a buff. You just have the speed effect? Yeah. Ooh, you're special. 
And it's kinda, nauseating. Do you have uh, gym armor on? No, I have nothing equipped. I threw everything back into the uh, a the uh, RS system. Bottles. Uh, I took everything off. Literally he's, everything. He's naked, people. Dear I God. Have a naked chicken. Um. Okay. Demorph. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Demorph then undemorph. Yeah, I still got speed. You're you're just spatial, man. I don't know what's going I'm on just there. Spatial. Yes, you occupy space. You are spatial. Um, spatial. Okay, so these that do uh, a generate during the day 1,000 RF per tick. Yeah, we can't touch them. They, they don't want to talk to us right now. Um, so we have to come up with, there goes Fox drop, dropping like a brick. Come up with some other stuff. Are you using the bit like a brick? Uh, uh, part Texas, are you using the bit release? Yeah, we have to test it so you don't have to. So basically, we test it for a couple of days. I'm going to start doing this more often. We test it for a couple of days. If it's good, we set it to release. If it's not good, we push out another update on the test server. Until it is good, then we can set it, that one to release. Um, no, more, right. It's glass cable. Glass fiber cables will not connect. Nope. My base uses the glass fiber ones, he says. Yeah. No, we can't. Basically, I mean, they won't. Uh, uh, Foxbot tried that. Tried to get them to connect. We tried one notch down going from ultimates to advanced. Those don't connect either. I got a hybrid, one of the basic ones out, and those don't connect. None of the solar panels will actually output. Now, the funny thing is, since this problem has started, I made an extractor and a compressor, and those connect and work just fine. Full batteries, I've used that. Full batteries, I've used this one. So, plus they filled up. Where the hell did they fill up from? And there's thermal expansion cables under there. So, it seems to be unique to the solar panel line of things. Now, uh, there were some updates in the 103 in this version of the pack. There's some updates to Tech, Tech Reborn and Reborn Core. And they said something about block state, something, something updating to different yada yada. And I, I don't know, but basically they were supposed to change over from one system to another system internally behind the scenes stuff and fix some things or make it better. And it appears to make things worse. So, yeah. Hey, Berg, what's going on? Have you tried energy cells? What do you mean? We're using energy cells. Directly the... connecting an energy cell underneath the solar panel. Oh, I don't we... think it's going to output anything. I mean, we could try. Um, um, uh, hum, uh, hum, uh, I don't have an energy cell memorized. I do. Let's see. Hmm. There's eight of them. Ooh. Let's see what happens. Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna turn that on real quick. Wait a minute. No, turn it on. Did I get everything? I think I got everything. Awesome. Ah! Chicken sized hole. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do Kerplonkity. It's been Kerplonked. Yeah, see, it's defaulted to input. I can do output, nothing, input from the top, and it's not filling up at all. These things are not, basically, they don't have any input sides anymore, or output sides anymore. They're going to that energy cell is set to zero RF in and out. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, something's working. I wonder why it defaults to zero. It okay. shouldn't be. That's weird. Wait a minute. 54,000, and then it stopped. Why did it stop? It pulled out the power from no, the it cables. There's no cable. Ca oh, to the other adjacent cables. Yeah. Okay. So basically, let me clear uh, all of these other cable cables and their extreme cableness. Extreme cables. Uh huh. Cables for cables. Um. Okay. All the leadstone conduits have been removed. Suddenly, it's talking to this thing. I'm not sure what? I know what's going on. Yeah. Let's do input. All right, input. Hold on. That is yeah. so annoying. It's still outputting from the bottom. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna do. Input, output. Uh, 
Are this energy cells do charge them. Uh, it should slowly get input output. Uh, faster and faster. Okay, coop mm -hmm. life. Input Come here. output. Is it max yet? Yeah, it should be max. One downstairs? Let yep. me go check. Eridani, I'm going to assume crashed. No, I logged out. Oh, I'm going to go delete yep. my uh, player about that. Uh, because of the thing? With the stuff? Yeah, it, w it will not go away. Yeah, this one down here is. Okay, I'm going to do. I, I'll Input. Zilla. Input. Input. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's output. Input. Yep, there we go. Okay. Yeesh. Input. And then what we do is that one. We're going to do input. Output. Mm, da -da -da -da. Oh, and I need to remember. Shift, click, shift, click. Let's go check this one. Yep, that's done. Okay, so now we put this one down. We do input, output. Really don't think that we need to do this, but it works for now. It also gives us an unnecessary amount of battery buffer. Yep, I'll take it. Okay. Now, I think these are doing 1,000 RF per tick. They're still not draining their internal storage. No, that's because the energy cells only do 1,000. So they're generating 1,000, and they're outputting 1,000. Oh, that's a good point. So they were already full, and now they're just sending the excess. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to turn magnet mode off now. I don't need it. Um, I do think I missed a cover somewhere, but that's okay. We've got batteries for covers now, apparently. Um... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that works. That's the only thing that works, though. I don't know why. I'll take a gander at the mod after work and see if we can get a good report. That would be fabulous, Mallrat. Another problem I've discovered now is that if... Uh, and this is a different problem. This is not Tech Reborn. This is Actual Editions. Actual Editions had an update, and now every time you log in, if you have a Traveler's Satchel... Uh, it completely resets back to default. So you lose the contents, you lose all the filter filters, and you lose the configuration every single time. Yay. I'm... Yeah. What is with all the mods resetting themselves recently? I I'm not really sure, but, you know, um, that battery's full. This one's filling up. We have a big, fat back stock of... Uh... Battery now. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... Output, input, output. Actually, no, that's bad. That's probably really bad. Let's not have power loops. There we go. That'll be fine. This one's filling up like crazy anyway, so. Okay, well, at least that problem is solved and we can keep the lights on, so. Uh, magic is the only explanation. It's racist against cables, says Kugas. That's a good answer. I like that one. It's cableist. Cableist. I'll oh, hail the coop dom. Thank you very much, Dragon Racer. <laughs> um, I thought we had colorblind settings turned on for TE. Does the energy cells not have colorblind mode? Uh, no, they got turned off accidentally. They keep getting turned off accidentally. Why? I don't know. Do we need faster cables? No, because all those batteries are only 1,000 RF per tick, and all our pipes are... Uh, I can't remember. 8,000? What, the leadstone ones? Yes. Yeah, those do 8,000 RF per tick, so, I mean, technically, we need better batteries up there. Um... I kind of don't want to have eight batteries up there constantly, but, you know, if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. 
to get things talking. Let's put those back in the system. I have temporarily had to change out my Traveler satchel sack for a satchel from Thermal Expansion. It has is set to auto collect and it's picking up all the random egg and manure drops that come from just me being me. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a quick sleep in. Mr. Ninja says, actually, Additions has a significant code base restructure recently, as far as I know, between a bunch of hotfix versions fixing everything that broke. Yeah, I did see that, Mr. Ninja 93, and that's a very good point. Um, within a span of 24 hours, they went from a new version to hotfix number seven. Like, hotfix one, hotfix two, hotfix three, hot fi all the way up to seven. We have number seven, and I don't think things are fixed still, so we need to get some bug reports in to get them what the heck is exclamation point CTT, Saffron? Enchant the energy cells with holding three. That makes them hold more. That does not make them transfer faster. No, we need them to transfer faster. Yeah, we need them to transfer faster. So what we should do is actually make... um, Oh, look, a whole bunch of kits. I don't know. I wonder where they came from. Yeah, I don't know. Don't look at me, buddy. Hi. Um, oh, wait Over a here. We have the... Uh, there we go. These I are the ones upgrade. that skip all the steps, right? I think they are. Yes. Yeah. The okay. conversion kits. Yeah, I'm going to go do something really hilarious and cheesy. Just watch. And uh, wow. we actually didn't cheat any of this stuff in. We got it legit because... Uh, uh, my co-workers are absolute bosses at power gaming, so. <laughs> um, I was like, whoa, dudes, me. dial it back. They did a really good job at it, but we do this, this. And then suddenly, power for days. Now these things should be, yep, they are emptying and staying emptied. And we have, uh, what's 50 times 8? That's 400 million? Yeah. We have 400 million RF and backstock energy. I'm good with that. That'll do. Okay. That will last of yeah. us the rest of our lives. Uh, that is the bottleneck up there. <laughs> that power will never make it down to the rest of the base fast enough until we upgrade the cables. But for now, that is a solution. So, hey. EMC is cool, says Pyrotech. It's, it's darn useful. Bigram, how many... When I go up... um, When I cinch this tower in... At a certain floor, how many blocks should I go in? Just one. Just Basically, one. like, I'm going to do... Okay. Yeah, you're doing exactly. That is exactly what I want to do. We cinch it in one... It's like we could do what? Two floors, cinch, two floors, cinch, and then maybe like one floor, cinch, one floor, cinch, or something like that. I don't know. We could do two, 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 and then maybe start cinching it up tighter as we get closer to the top. It'll look good. Yeah, awesome. Uh, by the way, oh, I forgot to mention this completely. I spaced. Space brain. Um, this is the outline of the actual casino. That's going to be the main building. We're going to have some normal people sized rooms and the suites in there. Uh, we're going to have a nice lounge and a kind of a bar on the ground floor entrance area. Um, we're going to have a back hallway. Basically, our current living hallway is going to be expanded out to be three by three. And it will go all the way back. That will be the exit hallway to the rest of the casino complex inside the mountain. And that's where the actual casino part will be. This is going to be like check-in desk and rooms and whatnot, lobby. Uh, you're going to go back through here, and there might be some, like, food court kind of stuff right off this hallway on either side. And then uh, we'll probably take a turn right here. Or actually, I don't know. I need to map. That's what I want to do today is do some mapping. Um, right around in this area is going to be expanded out, and it's going to be turned into the casino floor. Boom! Flex! Wait a minute. Isn't it past your bedtime, young man? <laughs> oh, yeah. Boom! Flex is here. I have to actually I, I have to do this. Wow. Let's flash the uh, face cam for him. Um. Anyway, 
Got to up my game. I'm way behind. Berg, if you need help, we will be more than happy to help you for a very nominal fee. Um, I'm not doing it for free. We are the mafia, after all. Uh, okay. So, yeah, this is going to be ground floor. Uh, this does mean there's going to have to be some sloping up, and we're going to have to fill in a whole bunch of these water holes around the moors. I will be doing that off camera because it's boring as sin. Uh, but uh, we're going to raise... I want to have the landscape slope up a little bit more. And we're going to have it come up to the edge of the building right here. What I might do is have it kind of dip down here and have a lower entrance out through a, uh, a basement level that comes out the side here to some kind of gardens or something. I don't know. Um, big amused awkward stare. It's super effective. Just getting up, unfortunately, on the way to airport. Uh-oh. Yeah, have safe travels, Mr. Boomplex. 2.20 a.m. Oh, my gosh. All right, time to see if I can't uh, piece me on my player not to have back together. So what's going to happen is if I delete it, I'm going to lose... All my project E and stuff. I don't particularly want to lose that. So, I mean, technically speaking, you could spend a couple of hours taking everything out of the system and putting it into your tablet one by one and then dumping it back in the system. The most important thing right now for me is just the project E because that's what I have most of the work in. Right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete my player on from the server, mm -hmm. log back in, grab the clean one. And then cut and paste the Project E entry from my old one oh. in, into the new one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, check the Mafia back channel. I have a present for you. Um, oh, I gotta go find it, though. World. Do you know what your UU, UUID is? What does it end in? Uh, it begins with a uh, 44978. I just deleted mine. There is the one from the backup before we upgraded the server. Oh, really? Yep. Guess who always downloads a backup before he upgrades and potentially trashes a server with a new update? Uh, this little chicken. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're actually going to go. Let's go back here. I'm not very intent on the way I'm making this transition. Making the transition what? The tower transition between levels. Oh, uh, you mean on the front, on the out front start part? Over here? Yeah, yeah, I, we might have to actually lower ground level slightly. I, no, I mean up here. Yeah, I still got it. Which means this was going on before. What if you te teleport over to the... Uh, the area where our creative build is and then come back. Just teleport over there and hang out for a second and then come back and see if that'll wear it off. Because we have that yeah. that environmental thing over there. You're not intent uh, on... Oh, you mean down here? Up here. Transition? What transition? Because these three blocks are going to be that empty space in between, yes? I did this wrong. What are you talking about? Ceiling, empty space, flooring. I did this right. You're talking about the, this uh, this mosaic transition, right? Yes. Yeah, it needs at least three gap, and you have at least three gap all the way around here. Why? No, I'm I'm trying to visualize this because I'm gonna put that mosaic tile right here. It's going to be for every floor transition. Right. I kind of figured we would have a one block high band on the air gap between floors. But what you've done is expanded that to three high, which means you have complicated potentially how that transition happens every time we sink in. Does that make sense? I think you could still do it. Well, it's still only one gap. It's a one space gap, but I just use the floor and the ceiling block as a. Right, I thought you were doing that anyway. 
The floor block is the top line in the mosaic. The ceiling block below it is the bottom line in the mosaic, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't see a problem. Get mosaicing. Yeah, I still got it. All right. Dude, what is going on with your... Do you know... I don't know. This only happened after the crate of build stream. I have a dumb question. Have you taken off the Ring of Arcana yet? I have taken everything off. I have nothing in baubles, nothing in my inventory, nothing equipped, nothing. And I have okay. no effect icon for speed. Hmm, that is weird. Yeah, I'm moving like I've got speed free, and the FOB is like I've got speed free. Yeah. He's just in constant nausea mode. Exactly, that's horrible. Um... CTT, share the weirdness, click this link to tweet out the stream. What? Bitly? Who's Bitly is that? Where? In chat. Uh, Preacher set it up, I think. Oh, it's a share. Yeah, no, I get what it is, but I didn't know who's Bitly. Usually to make a Bitly, you have to have an account on Bitly. Like, you have to have made one. I'm guessing it's Preacher's. Um... That worked. <laughs> what worked? Um, me deleting my player on data. But you've lost a whole bunch of Project E stuff, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to grab the new one. Um, oh. Creature says it's Saffrons. Oh, okay. Oh, I did it. Awesome. Well, thank you. Um... Been nominated for a couple of industrial awards at the company that Boomplex works at. Well, that's awesome. That's super cool. And Boomplex is probably already off to the airport by now. I'm going to sleep. I'm a little worried that other people might log in and get the same bug you got. Um, Aridani? Yeah. Yeah, we might have to lower this like one block, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I was going to go do something up here. There's mosaic today. Is web. Literally mosaic. Mosaic. We all live in a yellow tambourine. I think someone got that wrong. Yeah, no kidding, right? Okay. This is going to be Lagoon. No, wait a minute. That's not. What direction is this? West. Uh... Going west. Why can't I just have a default color for all text? Tell me these things, Mr. Brutech. And this is going to be going east. Boop. Boop. Then what we have to do is go out here, and I have to make a point where we can make bees. We were going to work on bees. A's, B's, and C's. You know, how it is. <laughs> I'll just kind of float down here for a second and drink my coffee. Updated and checking, says Kugas. Dragon Racer says, I updated and logged in this morning. So I'm guessing you didn't have any problems, Dragon Racer? No, it's not EMC uh, that we're talking about, Pops. We're talking about people having potion-like effects when they don't actually have the potion shown on their player. You know how, like, right here on the left-hand side of your armor, you would have a, a, a power listed, like, you know, night vision or speed or whatever? Aerodonny's got a permanent speed effect stuck on him, and there's no indicator or timer for it, and we can't make it go away. You could have drinking milk, I guess, but it, if there's nothing to de if there's nothing to clear, there's nothing to clear. Exactly. That, that was the problem. And dying didn't help either. <laughs> Yeah, so there is some effect that has been locked onto your player model, your player file. And that worries me because things altering the player file directly is never good. Okay, so I'm going to go... Seems fine, says Kugas. Um, back. Um, um, Be complex. I don't know. Let's do that. White. I want white. There was a pun in that, wasn't there? What, be complex? 
I was trying to think of B and then building, but not actually use the word building, so it sounded a bit fancier. Um, okay. Now we go back to the main hallways. Oh, wait a minute. No. What Y level is this? Uh, uh 114. I don't think we're up to that. Okay. Yeah, we tried uh, reverting to normal form, demorphing, remorphing. Uh, he tried killing himself. He took off all of his gear. No baubles, no equipment, no nothing. Uh, nothing seemed to clear it. And it wasn't an actual effect that was showing. It was just it seemed like it was. So something bugged out. Could you not have command given removed the effects? Um, there is the effect command that I could give. I don't know the syntax and formatting on it. I could probably fiddle with it for about 15 minutes and maybe get it working. But the greater problem was he wasn't showing an effect. So we don't know exactly which one. We would have to give him effect one. And, and it wasn't one. clearing on death. Yeah, it wasn't clearing on death either. That's the problem. Which means it's not a normal potion effect. So we could have tried give a speed one remove, give speed two remove, speed three remove, speed four remove. Man, nope. Is, are you that still, didn't do it. What, that you, didn't do it. <laughs> you cleared your player dot dat and that didn't fix it. I I saw no, no no I saw something. I thought deleted it would fix it and it didn't fix it. <laughs> um, are you editing oh. your your player dot dat or what? Yes. Is, did you see anything remotely interesting or what? Yeah, I saw something in here that was a modifier upon generic movement speed. I removed it. Didn't help. Oh. Yeah, Dragon Racer, it's not that the Tech Reborn solar panels weren't being shown as connecting. They weren't connecting. It's not just a visual glitch, but the power was still outporting, outputting. The power was going nowhere. We This battery was not charging at all. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God, sneezing. Ugh. Um. Yeah, so... That was not, it wasn't just a visual glitch. It actually wasn't outputting the power. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go back here. We're at, let's see, we're at 99, uh, 99. You got 99 problems, but a B ain't one. Okay, 118, here we go. Um, Gonna tunnel straight this way. Oh, actually, I don't know if I can do this. Maybe. Come on. I got to check something here real quick. Mr. Mall Rat has been on. Because the moon is loaded. And so is the nether. The nether is lunatic asylum. But whatever. Okay, yeah, I don't know why it's loaded right now. Because neither one of them are online. Uh, okay. Aha! So, aha, what? <laughs> now let's see if it, if it actually saved my EMC. Um, we have a new program that got a new mod that got included in the pack called Tick Profiler. Come on, I want to remove those blocks. Most engine. Let's go over here real quick. I'll show you guys what it is. Um, if I do profile, and I think it's E. For entities, yes. it's doing an entity profile for 30 seconds. This can lag the server a little bit, but we're the only ones on. It's called a hydraulic lift, Gugas. <laughs> it worked. What did you do? Um, I started with I started with the brand new player.dat and copied over like all of like the forge data. Oh, okay. There we go. So, 
This runs a profile for 30 seconds on the server. You notice it says TPS is 19.52, whatever, whatever. TPS is technically not exactly 20. It varies between 19 and 20, and it kind of rounds up, basically. But um, tile.tile controller at, and there's a specific set of coordinates. That is Lunatic Asylum's base. His is ticking slightly more than a lot of the other blocks at his base. Now, this is still a tick time response time and an overall percentage of how much tick of that tick of the last 30, 30 seconds of those, all the ticks in those 30 seconds, that's how much of a percentage that it was taking of the whole server. That's nothing. So these are good numbers, but it's just, it shows you the block and the exact coordinates. And then it says, um, passive entity cow. And then there's tile dot tile table grinder, which is tech reborn, um, passive entity cow, etc., etc. And it'll show you what chunks have longer tick times. And these are all good times. Um, all entities of a type, all entities of type. Yeah. And then it's got creatures and then average entity of type crafter block tile entity. Da, 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 da. See, there's one cow somewhere that's taking up a whole bunch of tick time. Don't know why, but this at least gives us recourse to track down stuff in all chunks. The thing with lag goggles is they're goggles. So if you can't, so you have to see it. I mean, for the most part, you have to see it. I think that there are there is a way to bring up profiling on a greater you know chunk of the map or something. But for the most part, I, I think that if you can't see it, it's not going to show you numbers on it. Okay. Uh, problem number two, I can't see anything inside the crafting grid. Uh, log out and shut your client down completely, and log back in. Welcome to the refined storage bug that everybody else has. On. Sometimes I've <laughs> heard that if you break the controller and replace it, it'll fix it, but I tried that a couple times and it didn't fix it for me. So, eh. Just kill your client. Yeah. So we have a couple of bugs that we need I to see about getting them. fixed. Okay, how far... Let's do I'm just gonna go straight out this way. I never got play. I do not know what the death count is at. I will check it here in just a minute. I suspect it's not changed very much. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it has. There are a lot of people on this server that have been dying a lot, and I just want to tell them they're doing it wrong because it's, this is not supposed to be a high death pack. Um, I died by accident. Um. <laughs> yeah, but like that's like a death count of three or four, not a DC leaderboard. Not death count of not 27. Not 13. <laughs> Robert Collins, 118. He's got a death count of 13. See, and then the next person is Boxbot Games. Five. That's a reasonable death count. Damian Oliver, five. And then Dragon Racer, four. I have zero deaths. I've got one. Um, I actually have... change that, Megram. I actually have three deaths. I don't know why it says zero, but it says zero, so whatever. Yeah, I, I know, I factually know I have died three times. Uh, so. Okay, let's get this and do... Mm -mm. At some point, I will spit out the other side of this mountain. Let's see if I can go over top of you. Uh, hang on a second. On the map. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I have a marker, and I think I'm going to have to make a slight jog to the left here in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You are actually, you have a little bit to go. Depending on how high you are. So high. Um, I'm actually four blocks higher. That's okay, though. That just means I'll have to make some stairs down to that area. Big deal. Um, but I do want to go ahead and get the B space made, specifically, 
so that we can start mapping out. You know, like we're well, gonna that's to, a good sign. We're gonna have to put some power over there. What is? Uh, I've got notifications for LinkedIn internal on my phone, and the IT manager at Les Schwab, one of the places I just uh, applied for, has viewed my profile. Progress has been made. People are actually looking for me. For the board. Of course, they're international assassins, but that's not the point. <laughs> um, welcome, sir. I do not need you on right now. You're confusing me. Let's do that. Mm, you're going to plow back through here. On time to re-equip all my stuff. i repair talisman. Show my life stone. Yeah, because of that stone, I've intentionally completely forgotten about eating. Yep, exactly. You know, <laughs> what's food? Food sucks. <laughs> what's Give food? me my I soy lunch, for breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's that's something else I need to add to the list for Friday nights. Soylent green. Mm. People! It's made of people! Anyway. Um. Yeah. Uh, now which. The first 40 minutes of the stream, fixing my character file. Yep. Uh, I have, uh, spent 48 minutes of the stream troubleshooting and digging a, a hole. Um. I spent 48 minutes building. Uh, so, oh god. Okay. I felt that one. I this... don't see him. I tried to morph. It was like, oh. <laughs> this is uh, a perfect situation for me to talk about burnout. Okay. I will never burn out on Minecraft. It's impossible. There's too much to do in Minecraft. I love Minecraft. That does not count modded Minecraft. I love yeah. modded Minecraft. I love it to death. However, there is a point where... Oh, dang it. I overshot. Uh, point at which you can like, only do something so many times. Actually, it's not even that, Fox. It's an issue of... Um, I'm growing weary of the bugs in modded Minecraft. The problem... Like I work as an IT professional on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't have to come home and then troubleshoot bugs on my personal time, too. Right. I mean, it's, it's partly that. It's mostly the fact... That I keep seeing some of the same bugs from the same mod authors come up over and over and over. I just discovered that uh, we have a bug with power, un underpowered refined storage systems uh, that was from 1.10 that got reported and reported and supposedly fixed. It has not been fixed. It still exists and uh, it is affecting our server's performance with refined storage. And, uh, you know, we're having all of these problems that seem like a little bit of testing with Tech Reborn. Or actually additions, it seems like somebody could have tested this for five minutes on a server somewhere and spotted a lot of this stuff. And like it seems like Forge performance, you know, they've been making leaps and bounds of what you can do with Forge, but performance seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. 1.10, I could know, I know factually I could go back and make a 250 mod mod pack for 1.7.10, and it would run circles around this one. Absolutely, in terms of performance. I know that for a fact. I'm just starting to get a little weary. We might have to slow down the pace at which, and we've been doing too many mod packs at one time anyway. We might have to slow down for a little bit on the pace at, wait, at which uh, Grimco packs come out um, and uh, diversify out a little bit into uh, different kinds of buggy games like Pixar. <laughs> <clears throat> um, uh, or, you know, just different stuff and just kind of ease off on the throttle a little bit. I will always have build ideas. I will always love m muddling through tech mods and magic mods. Mostly if they're not programmed by Vasky. Um, uh, <laughs> or Azenor. <clears throat> as long as it's not made by Azenor or Vasky, I'll play it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's just, you know, one of these things where you might see a minor slowdown in modded Minecraft content. Uh, we might not crank it as hardcore because basically... Right now, if we, we have been using a pack and making a pack. When we were making Grimco R using playing Grimco R and D, we were making Wasted. When yes. we shifted to Wasted and started playing it, not too long after that we started making 
Uh, actually, there was a couple of months of downtime. We were just playing Wasted and working on it and doing kind of end of life support on R and D. But then there was a while where, when we stopped doing updates to R and D, suddenly we started working on Coop Life. When Coop Life comes out, we already have another mod pack lined up, and it's uh, well, actually we have three, but. <laughs> one I haven't talked about yet, and the other two might not even be possible right now. So, uh, you know, it, it, you're not going to see the rapid... Oh, dear God, I found outside. Jesus. Um, <laughs> this tunnel Freedom. is taking forever. I want that block to go away, server. Please, thank you. It tells you no. No block disappear. Okay. So now I'm going to do, just so it's not grimdark out here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Isn't that guy watching the stream? No, it's Grim Tides. I'm sorry. Um, Grim Dark's his brother. Um, <laughs> just guessing. I don't know. Uh, nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I agree with Preacher there. What? You may want to read that in the chat. Um. Pop says, uh, the thought has crossed my mind that it might be fun to fire up a vanilla world once 1.13 drops. 100%. I'm with you right there, Pops. Um, Mr. Ninja says, don't forget the auto crafting refined storage performance drop. Yeah, that still exists. They fixed it in 110, but it's back in 112 mysteriously. Um, doing a pack, what, every six months? I could see once every three months. One pack every three months. I think that just one at a time. And I think that's a, a decent pace. Dark Preacher says, Some devs just need to be beaten about the head and neck with a foam club that says, Test your mod before release. Here's the problem, Preach. I would say, I'm going to make an arbitrary guess that I'm willing to actually stand behind, even though it is a total guess. It's an educated guess, but it's still a guess. I'm going to say more than 60% of the mod authors don't play Minecraft anymore. And it's it just looks right. Let's see. If, let's see if somebody puts a bug report on it, I, and then I won't check the bug report for the next month. Yeah, it's not necessarily. I mean, they have real lives, or they've moved on to other games, and they don't really want to worry about Minecraft much anymore, or whatever. They're just supporting it because they're being nice, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's lots of things we could go into, and this is not about mod bashing. Mod. I mean, mod dev bashing. It's not the point. Of what I'm getting to here. The big thing is. Um, there's a lot of them that don't play Minecraft anymore because they've hit burnout. The game has been around for nine years? Yes. Or while. ten years. Nine years. I think it's nine years. It'll be ten years next year, I think. And um, that is longer than any other single game, I think, except maybe RuneScape, and those people are just messed up. Uh, <laughs> RuneScape came out in 2007. People are still playing it. Playing it. I still have access to my account. Yeah, I it's. I have never played like, RuneScape, and I, I probably never will. I open up every so often just to make sure that the account doesn't get purged. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, Dragon says, "You know the code looks looks right. Must work." It, it's Ooh. less about. It's less about that, and I'm not going to accuse anybody of not testing. It's an issue where they test in single player dev environments, and they're not actually testing in a server environment. And those two are not the same. If anybody else tells you otherwise, I will come over there and I will fight them physically. I don't care what Mojang says, server does not equal single player nowadays. In 1.710, they made changes that supposedly merged those two environments and made them identical. Wrong! So totally wrong. It's just, oh God, it drives me nuts. It makes my blood boil when people start saying that. Same thing nowadays. No, it's not. Uh, there are stuff, there are things you can call events that you can call and things that you can make happen in server that will completely crash out and potentially corrupt um, single player worlds easily it's it's just it's ah go away thank you <laughs> I um, watched you break like four blocks and they were still there mm -hmm. and then next thing I knew they were gone and you were suffocating in a block <laughs> yeah I right clicked my right my uh, pickaxe underground here to get some more it hung like five seconds. I was like, uh. Um, yeah, it, it's one of these things where I will readily admit uh, I'm starting to get tired of bug squashing the same bugs from the same mods over and over. 
I am so tired of some of the drama that seems to get kicked up on a regular basis for absolute garbage reasons. You know? I mean, uh, a special event happens, and uh, oh, God. these people pick, I'm not going to name names, but a special event happens, and it results in some mod authors being um, kind of called out and recognized for, you know, making great mods. And the other mod authors in the community do not come out and say, oh, hey, good on that person for, you know, getting shouted out. It's a simple congratulations is enough. But yeah. no, they had to be you can't. You cannot revel in somebody else's joy. Instead, what they do is they come out and they say, how come you didn't recognize me? I'm critical to this community. I've done so much for it. And I just, oh, God, I really want to. It makes me want to slap a fool. Dear God, what happened? I converted the goblin oh, into stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, that's a it's thing. Just like, whoa, right. what happened? Um, <laughs> things are happening. I will, I will, I will stop ranting now. But I just want to let everybody know, uh, we are not going to stop making Grimco quality mod packs anytime soon. Might slow down though. Uh, that might be a thing that will happen. And uh, I mean, I'm not just doing it for my own sanity. I've got like a dozen, a dozen and a half people that help me make these packs. Um, from testing to, you know, working on the really inane and thumb twiddling quest lines to uh, um, doing code entries for scripts and stuff like this so that we can get one mod to talk to another. All this stuff, it, it's it's important stuff, and I have loads of people that help me. I, I do not make these packs alone, not by any stretch, and I will never claim such. But uh, I have to start thinking about their sanity as well, so, you know, hey. Um... Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna have to transfer. Ninja does point out a good thing there. The jump from 1.7.10 to newer versions it says oh, anything gosh. that's barely any devs that are critical to the community anymore. Most of them are ported old mods that have been ported over. Yeah. I, while that is true, there are some mods that are being that have either. Even if they are just being maintained and they were not, they were not originated from that person, there are still some mods that have been updated and have had some critical new features added by the current maintainers. Uh, Kuga says people are still playing EQ1. Yes, and I, I'm lost on that one, but they're still putting updates out on EQ1. There are still expansion packs being made for EQ1, Kuga. That about, yeah, about one a year. That means that you're not playing. Yeah, that means you're not playing the same game constantly. It is different on an ongoing basis. Um, that means that the game is shifting and ever-changing. And that's the way that it's supposed to be. It, it, it's not the same game. I mean, it's like um, StarCraft. When StarCraft came out, the original StarCraft, people played that game. I think I played it. Oh, I love that game. Yeah, I played it for probably I... about five years straight. I, I own that game. Time. Yeah, <laughs> I still own that game, and I am happily one of the people that still have it downloaded. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's not a thing that really happens anymore. If you look at the life cycle of average games, nine years is an aberration. Uh, it is an extreme aberration, to say the least. So, um, yeah, Minecraft is a different kind of an, an animal. And I will always play it as long as it's playable and the community is not ultra toxic. But there are things that are just going to have to get metered for the sake of my own sanity and the sanity of some of the people I hang out with. Uh, I I said I wanted a hole there. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I just love your like, hey, Minecraft, I told you to break this block. Do it. That's me staring at the server and tapping my foot, basically. Um, exactly. Ferg says I'm just an observant heckler. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have it. Ferg says you found a good group. We have an amazing community, and that does actually, shockingly enough, count you, Ferg. You actually are a really cool guy, and you're live streaming on a regular basis. And I can see the hard work you're putting into live streaming and still maintaining content, putting out, getting put out, and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm surprised you haven't snapped and killed six people at your job. I mean. <laughs> I've heard stories about where you work. I'm surprised you're still sane. So, you know, there's that. Um, I need dirt. I need a lot of dirt. Um, um, grab the red man or shovel. <laughs> all of the loamy grass, yep. well, the loamy dirt, has an EMC value now. 
Yes, I know. Thank you, Morat. I dumped. I pulled all of it out of the system earlier today and dumped it all back in. Um, yep. People still play Mario, but that is more for nostalgia. Playing a game daily or near daily on a game that is nine years old is very different, says Pops. Exactly. It's one of those things where we have people that are making daily content on YouTube, still innovating and coming up with new ways to play Minecraft, and that is amazing, and I will never bag on Minecraft because of that, but it is one of those things where it is, I, I can't call it unhealthy, but it is definitely extreme in terms of a way to play a game. Just had the least, yeah. And as such, it you might need to meter it a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Okay. We need... I'm going to cut this back even further. Just being a building machine today, I am not in the mood to pay attention to anything I'm doing right now. Um... I'm just excited I got Age of Empires 2, says Ferg. I have it also, and that game is dope. I kind of want to figure it out again, and then see if we can get a whole bunch of people to play it. It's supposed to have multiplayer now, but, you know, multiplayer, air quotes. Well, so, well. yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a thing, or... I want to try it. I think it'd be awesome. Um... I can't remember. Uh, do we have a spot where we're gonna do, where we are going to do bees? Set out yet or no? That's what I'm doing right on. now. Okay. Um, if you go up to the floor above the chicken storage room, uh, yeah. you go down to the back elevator and and, and it's the not yep. one level up but two levels up. And two. then there's a kind of a winding hallway that comes all the way out the back of the mountain. Um, Egg. Yeah, dark purchase compared to his co-workers. Yes, Fergus Sane. Kyogre says, wait, did he just call Ferg saying, yeah, Ferg has to be saying he would have killed people if he would have been. I've heard stories. I would have snapped and beat a fool if I was actually working in his job easily. Hands down that or they just find me late for my shift because I was in the corner crying in some room that I was told to clean out. It's just, you know, whatever. One of those two. Um, Pyrotex is 16 customers, six playing Minecraft. Exactly. Um, by the way, for anybody not following along at home, uh, Mr. Pirate Tech uh, works at the GameSync Land Center on the West Coast. And as such, he's a pretty good barometer for uh, public interest. You know. Um, okay. Okay. I think while you're doing this, I'm going to get started on making the B machines. Yeah, we need to figure out if we want to do separate power gen over here, or if we want to make one of those um, batteries from RF tools that shares power levels, and we could cross- I would say cross use separate them. power gen with how much power Vinny's can use. Okay. Uh, I think I tuned down the power usage on Vinny's, but we'll have to find out. I know I turned it down on gen industry. Yeah. Mr. Ninja says, uh, I get what Vagram, etc. are saying, though. I used to play more, but have recently burnt out so much uh, because of broken mod packs everywhere. I think modern Skyblock dev packs really hit the nail in the coffin from there for me. Yeah. Um, Ms. Moab says, Ferg's job is why people go postal, um, which is exactly what yeah. I would have done about three days in. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I have to be careful what kind of job I work at because I will, I could easily lose my temper at stupidity. Which is why <laughs> I'm happy with the Celeste Schwab job I'm working at, where I'm only gonna have to work with a select number of employees in a yeah. place where if you're if you don't keep up, you'll get tossed out. Um, yeah, because I'm not working at anywhere at Les Schwab. I'm working at corporate headquarters, which is actually located here in Bend. So. Um, keep up or get out. Yeah. Okay. Baker is distracted. Nope. I'm 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 messaging. I'm sending a message to the drinks cart. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I think she's watching. <laughs> uh, I just saw her type something, which is why I sent sent a message. Um, um, how I does just... the build the tower look so far? I'm thinking um, of tearing the one this top one that I just made and moving it in another block. Um. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me sleep real quick and get some daylight on it, and then we can. I'll come over there and take a look. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Unrelenting curiosity asks, "What is that display mod you have? What do you mean display mod? Talking about this one where everything goes black and white and confuses the heck out of people?" <laughs> Vagrom vision. Dun, 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 dun. You know. What? I yeah. personally want a version of that just so I can confuse my audience. <laughs> there we go. Exclamation point VV. Uh, are you talking about this top one you just built? You want to sink it in? You want to bring it in a block further? I was thinking about that because there's like another one, two, three floors before I reach the quote unquote top. I can go taller, but why? No, I don't think we need taller. I think we have enough. Um, I would say if you if you bring it in one level and we get that kind of parapet kind of feel that you see on some of the higher level uh, buildings. Um, let me put the color back into things so people don't get too confused. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Vigram is the odd colorblind person who really is. Yeah. Um, 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 let's see. Yeah, hang on a sec. I need to actually scroll back up. It was unrelenting curiosity that asked, what is that display mod you have? I mean, it kind of depends what you're talking about. If you're talking about the general layout of my live stream, this is all done through Streamlabs OBS. If you go to streamlabs.com, you can grab it. It's free. It is amazing. They have loads of cool features built into it and just spiel back to the game. Um, uh, okay. So as I was saying, if you bring it in another block from what you already have it right now, you could do that, but then what I would do is I would actually have not uh, not two floors, but three floors, and then bring it in one. Does that make sense? Yes. So instead of doing it here, I'd go up another floor and bring it into, or bring it into and then go up three floors. Yeah, I would say bring it into and then go up, bring it in one from where it is already. And then go up three floors instead of just two. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, which means I have to tear this all down. <laughs> <laughs> Mwahaha! I mean, I oh, darn. I'm gonna see if I can make a retaining wall down here somewhere so we can build out more of this bee, uh, bees area. Um, let's bees. get. Red matter hammer? Red matter hammer. I feel like I shouldn't be using it. <laughs> be careful with that. Don't use that near my precious carpet. <laughs> Do we need to go stare at the carpet? I think we may need to go stare at the carpet for a little bit. I want to go crack. <laughs> <laughs> Fox doesn't like my carpet choices. I, um, I dislike carpet choices. If I could get it shag and have it go halfway up the wall oh. and then make the other upper half dark wood paneling. <laughs> Hang a disco ball in there somewhere? Oh, God. You know I could do 90% of that, right? Yep. Which is why you probably shouldn't have said that. Um... <laughs> he backed into it, folks! I walked into a wall. Do-do-do-do-do. Oh, Dragon Racer said something. Hang on a second. What? Uh, Vigram playing all the games where you throw poop. Exactly. Now, the information mod you have that displays the current item you're looking at, um, but I figured it out. Oh, thanks to Dragon. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. That is, uh, uh, um, that is, uh, T.O.P., the one probe. Dun, dun, dun. So, yeah. It's a beautiful little mod. We all love it. Yep. Well, I like it. Fox loves it. Fox wants to bury it. Um, I don't know why I said that. Um, it's like I'm in elementary school all of a sudden. Look at glorious, glorious carpeting. Isn't that amazing? I want to cry. <laughs>
This I mean, also gives an excuse for Fakum to go get a drink. <laughs> I have not. Uh, I had one brought to me. Thank you very much. Um, I have not had. I mean, I could not have found a better choice for 1970s Vegas casino if I tried. I mean, honestly. <laughs> Mr. Ninja says, what a carpet. Dragon Roost says, ah, my eyes, they burn. Grimtide says, the 70s is here. Yeah, but see, look Honey, at it. I'm blind. Look at, look at it this way, right? Suddenly, it's a slightly interesting pattern. It's not retina burning. This is how I see it. It's just you people that are in pain. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that. I mean, what? We do have future what? blocks, says Pops. Yeah, those are technically worse, but you know. Hey, Mr. Rue, what's going on? Mr. Rue plays on the server also. Proof box doesn't count. <laughs> be nice. I'm. What do you mean, you brain people? dead? <laughs> All you color seeing people. It's not my fault you were born with superior vision like me. Um. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's turn this back on. Um. Mm, 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 mm. I suspect that we're going to have probably um, some, I'm going to ex expect a 3x3 three three grid of, um, what are they called, apiaries? That's the starter one, right? Yeah. Correction, the starter one that doesn't suck. Because mm -hmm. there's the bee house, which is just worthless. Um, oh. If you yeah. want to, we can go immediately up to uh, industrial apiaries from Genistry. Well, that's what I was thinking of. Is right if we have a certain number, because you can you can use a little bit of piping and basically automate some of the simple ones, some of the the, the oh, yeah. aviaries. So we have a three by three grid of spaced out aviaries that are basically the kind of the the you know I need a whole bunch of these kind of thing. Yep. I need stock. Those will be the stock B rows. So we'll have a three by three grid of those spaced out nine total. Then we have some cupboard space that's going to have some of the machines and it will have uh, then we can make we can make another bank area that is uh, just kind of crammed in a grid like a grid wall of uh, the industrial aviaries because the industrial aviaries um, those you can put a light box into a light box upgrade and you don't need direct yep. sunlight for them or I mean direct sky they don't need they don't need to be uh, open to direct sky you can build those things on the ground if you want to so I'm not people, I'm a Marine, says Dark Preacher. That's true. What is going on outside? Okay. Um, I just realized I can't do this two-block transition the way I have this building right now. Oh, don't worry about it, Fox. Oops. Overgrown stone does not have EMC. Yeah, because the ceiling is going to look absolutely beautiful on the fifth floor. Where it's only going to be two blocks tall. I kept telling you, do you, are you sure you don't want to expand all the upper floors to three or blo four blocks high? I asked. They are three blocks up. Yeah, but the, the first floor is four, right? Or am I misremembering? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I specifically remember asking, are we positive we want to change it and make all of them the same as the first floor? You said, I like it taller. Mm -mm -mm. I just besides, work the way I'm doing this. Besides, if you space things out just a little bit, you could always hide any differentiation in sizing in the intermediate, the air gap between floors. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I mean, that is an option. You could do that. Da, 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 da. This is going to be a corner. Um, we're going to get some nice fencing. Some fencing, some pretty lights. Put a wall up. It'll be gorgeous. A little bit of carpet and curtains and nobody will notice. I don't know what I'm doing. I should shut up. Um, <laughs> the voices just kind of come out of my head sometimes. Let's do a wall here. Oh, I ran out of stone. I'm jumping for no reason. 
Mm. Then we get get some dirt. Do 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 do. Berg says, you kids and your bee shenanigans. Mr. Moab says, no, the voices are always in your head. It's your mouth they come out of sometimes. That's 100% true. Mm -hmm. She has to uh, uh, be the constant victim of my goopy voices. Um... <laughs> I'm breaking vanilla, well, regular physics by abusing Minecraft physics. I just tore a giant wall out of the center of the building. <laughs> um, Dark Preacher says, somebody was channeling their inner South Beach interior designer. You know that guy too? Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to change up what I had designed here just a little bit. Because I've got an idea and I think it'll look fabulous. Oh. What? That's how the carpenter isn't working. No power. That's why what wasn't working? The uh, carpenter. Oh. Carpenter has got no power to it. Nope. This machine requires our energy from the engine to function. Okay, I'm starting to wonder oh, if the so. if, if the uh, thermal expansion cable is updated, and that's what's screwing up. No, because the quartz cables weren't connecting to the. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, the glass fiber ones weren't either. Hey, eight well, of the ten boys. power in this energy cell. Um, make sure I didn't reroute the power cables to someplace dumb. Pretty please. Um, boxing on the power cable is better than I do. I'm gonna come to Start digging the floor up, buddy. I'm building. I was talking to Aridani. All right. Start digging the floor up and see what goes where. We probably need to reroute them anyway, because you know. I'll do that in between. Yeah, we can clean them up later. We just need to get them I... working now. Yeah, I'd rather the things work now and then clean them up later. A uh, hammer. If I uh, had a hammer, I'd kill no, my neighbor for taking I'm, my lawn. I, I use a red crescent one. Leave me alone. No. <laughs> Jeez. It's red matter. Red matter. Uh, whole brown face. matter. Use the Whoops. brown matter hammer. Um. Okay. This is what I love about EMC. Inventory cleanup is a breeze. Look, it's all gone. Um, okay. Oof. What there? What cobblestone? So now what we're gonna do? Bump in. We're gonna get some nice wood paneling. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave that there. We're gonna do. Um, I have some of this. Let's correct this problem. Put all of the dirt away. Why is the dirt gone? Uh, okay, there we go. Yep. There we go. Intentional indentation is intentional. Let's do this, this, this. Uh, um. Okay. Yip, yip, yip. Awesome. So now what right. I do... I have 800 stacks of marble in my inventory. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see if I th throw the word ducked into ducked, ducked, duck, ducked goose. Um, <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Uh, you put an okay. accent on that. You put a very hard accent on that. What? Ducked. Duck. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> goose. Goose. I have a bang uh, on Discord. Why do I have a bang on Discord? Because. Okay. I need to go get some stuff. 
from the place. Because the server I never talk in. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. Red matter, red matter, come over, red matter, says Dark Preacher. Heart of Dragon says, anything like Red Rover? It's a lot like Red Rover, but there's a lot more accidental clicking and half of your base disappearing. Yeah, see? Less hand-holding, more crying. base destruction. A lot of crying. thought PvP is off. Uh, just because PvP is off doesn't mean I couldn't completely flatten your base. Iridani's staring at a wall. Um... Let's see. Do we have some... Oh, God. Crap. Major emergency. We don't have any birch. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm! Release the hounds! I mean... What? Let's see. Okay. I I've clicked this like... Tw thank you. Um, I've clicked this four times. Give me it. Yes. Okay. This is where we go through 2,040 pages, one by one, of, of JEI recipes. Um, and progressively cry as we go through each one. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he sitting in a corner sobbing? Don't ask. He had to go through Project E. Okay. Let's take this another way. Um, birch? I would like some birch, please. Birch sapling. World Transmutation. What? How does World Transmutation work? What is that? Project E. <laughs> it's what I've been doing with cobblestone to stone. <clears throat> oh, right. Okay, hang on a second. Sapling, sapling, sapling. Let's get a... Dark Oak. I'm just going to plant you right here. <laughs> what? Um... There's so many features in Project E I've completely forgotten about because I haven't used it in like a year and a half. Freaking Has awesome. anybody really used Project E? Oh yeah, there's some packs that use it. Whoops. Just trying to joke, but okay. Mallrat <laughs> cheering for 25 bits. I love your bits, and that's not a euphemism. Um, <laughs> I love your bits. You have to say it a different way to make it sound dirty. Uh, bone meal? Bon Melio, where for art thou? There it is. Tree. 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 We hold down shift. Kaboomski. Kaboomski. Sir, you left your tree in the yard. <laughs> okay, so now. Oh god. Saplings, wood, put the bone meal back. I don't need the gravel right now. The heck with the cobblestone. And we get some birchy birch. Suddenly we can make 627,000 of it. That's pretty awesome. <coughs> I know, right? Let's do that. Now let's go back to okay, the Okay, it changed the way the tower works. So I can make this transition properly. Uh, how much did you have to rebuild? Um, not much. I had, to, I had to move one of the rings out a block. And then I had to add another ring in order for it to work. What did I do? I might have just made like 71 stacks or something by accident. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> there we go. Just one. Just one stack. I do need to make sure and do that, though. The system now knows hardened flux ducts. Um, I knew those a while ago. Uh, I could have thrown them into the system a while ago. <laughs> you probably should have. Um, Pirate Tech says Bit Wars? Uh, yeah, there was a Skyblock based on it in 110. Yeah, Dragon Racer's right. There was a, uh, a Skyblock that was based heavily on uh, Project E. In 110. I can't remember the name of it, but I do remember people talking about it a lot. Um, Did Baker go? You have all gone. Mitchell Lovato. 
Don't this worry, gotcha. Lie. You're rubber banding like you were playing SE. What? Space engineers? Um, maybe. Are we fixed? Maybe. Discord, what's wrong? Who hurt you, Discord? <laughs> Who hurt you? Now point on the network map and tell me where the bad internet connection touched you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I have Windows updates. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. In about five minutes, I'm going to get the same notification. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. get them. I don't get them. Hey, you I have to go update. in and manually update. <laughs> oh, I have updates turned off, but I still get them. <laughs> they, I have them turned care. on. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh, dearie me, I have to go manually update. <laughs> Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me. Said no one ever. <laughs> Especially not with Windows 10. But don't you. Okay, um. The wrench that I put up, I of course need it. Oh yes, the thing I need, I put it away. Where did I put it? Yep, okay, awesome. Honey, awesome. I lost the keys again! <laughs> and we're gonna do... Right across here, I don't know why I took these down. And Fox then... Spider Probes. Put them down. Bit Wars! Miss Moab, cheers for 35! Yes, it turns out the cheering was rigged. The bits came from inside the house. Um. Uh, Pirate Tech says, <laughs> advanced generators. That or we're going to power the bees from chicken poop. Chicken poop is EMC. Yeah. That would be very easy. Yeah, oh yeah. By the way, thanks Mallrat for uh, giving uh, chicken, chicken poop, poop EMC. EMC. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I don't actually want those. Chicken poop and loamy dirt. I love me some loamy dirt. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do that there. Wow, either my version of your stream is very behind or something. Network error. Let me reload my page. And every time I reload Mixer or Twitch, it has to unmute the stream. Okay, so we have, um, those aren't needed. Probably help if I turn my magnet, <laughs> magnet mode off. There we go. I think. I think. I think. I think it won't erase this one more block. By the way, don't ever do that voice again. It's stereotyping. Stereotyping is wrong. Um, okay. Uh, that is so annoying. Here, craft me an item. Hang. Craft an item. Hang. Yeah, I do actually think. Um, I'm going to check the client. For the console. Okay. Correction. Uh, do right slash TPS and look at the pretty graphics. Oh, there we go. The oh. server can't keep up anymore. Total GPS. Uh, 18.2 milliseconds. That's really not... That's low on the grand scheme of things. GPS is at 20. Eh. Who knows? No, but the console is spamming. Can't keep up? Yeah. Yeah, we've Every, been getting... It's about we've been, 50, 45, 48. We've been getting that periodically when we sh really shouldn't have, like we didn't have much lag going stuff 
or you know CPU wasn't even maxed. So I expect if you look at the bottom bar and it's got the memory usage, is that completely maxed out? Memory is constantly maxed out. Okay, right. So the pr thing that's probably happening that it's trying to trigger a garbage collect cycle, we have something with a memory leak, which means we might have to start rebooting the server twice a day. Um, Yay. Black Knight okay. to you. I'll change that later. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, Hi, Googans. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pirate Tech, you should, uh, if you're on 1.0.2, you could update your clients and server to 103. I would advise against it right now. It's flagged as beta for a reason. There will be a release version as soon as we get a stable one. I already have to do an update on this version, so. Um... If you're playing it by yourself, I don't recommend updating just yet. Yeah. Because we are we might be pumping out a new another update very soon. Uh, yeah. We have a whole bunch of bugs to report. Pirate Tech says, also, more of the forestry, biomes of plenty, and chickens do not have EMC yet. Um, biomes of plenty chickens? What are you talking about? You mean the biomes of plenty, like, wood and stuff? They should all have EMC values. I corrected that. Um, the forestry stuff, there's going to be a lot of forestry stuff that won't have EMC and I just can't correct that without messing up a whole bunch of math. That's just going to be, there's going to be a lot of stuff in forestry and some of the middle and high end, like Tech Reborn, some of the high end stuff for uh, thermal expansion just won't have EMC. Uh, we cannot EMC everything, unfortunately. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good night, Berg. Discord ping from that same server. Why am I getting Discord pings when it's muted? Uh, they're not using everyone or here. They're using another tag, group tag. And it's probably the Matabase's server, right? Yep, I name dropped. No. Oh, it's somebody <laughs> else's? <laughs> no, this... it's uh, effects. Um, oh, um, I have this irk with uh, Matabase right now that I need to go. I need to have him stern talking to. It's driving me batty. Uh, it's not a serious matter. It's like a personal pet peeve, but I still need to talk to him about it. Uh, the crafting hanging can be reduced by removing a lot of the EMC from the table connected to the refined storage. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, there's going to be, apparently refined storage is working on an update, 1.6 update or something that will probably, let's sleep, that will probably do considerable amount. Hey, Mr. Rue. Um, oh, and then he logged out. Um, a 1.6 update that will change and overhaul significant chunks of refined storage. Big segments of it will stop working. I mean, will just disappear, won't be there anymore. Um, unfortunately, uh, I'm not sure if we're ever going to actually update to that because that means we're going to have a lot of people load up worlds and they're going to get that such and such blocks are missing. And I really strive to avoid that screen ever at all costs. I pack. So we might be version fixed on refined storage. I need to go talk to uh, 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 Rai Wool about it, but whatever. Okay, um, I figure this, we can do three by three grid. We can do nine of the industrial aviaries right here from uh, Gendustry. And then we can put, um, yeah, see, I messed this up. I need to do... Oh, Hanzi cheered for 15 and then Mallrat cheered for 25. The big wars are on. Uh, let's do this. I don't watch the ads because every now and again it stops working. Yeah. So we can put a, a row of machines here and then a row of machines above it. That leaves a big chunk of space for all of the machines that we want for uh, Gendistry or uh, or Binnies, whichever route we're going to go. Um, we can do one bank of the major machines we need for one mod here. And then we can make a little bit more space under here if we want to, because we're probably going to have like a ladder or a ramp that goes down under this platform because we're going to have, uh, let me think, I want to do uh, cave bees. <clears throat> no, 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 so no. Like... Um, we're going to have, okay, one, two blocks and go one, two, boop, one, two, boop. And so then what we're going to do is just repeat that. This is going to be the grid. And underneath here, there's actually going to be each of the blocks underneath the um, uh, aviaries will be dug out because we'll have uh, a level of space underneath here. We're going to need to do liquid tank storage for a lot of the bee stuff. We're going to have to do like for honey and for bee DNA, liquid bee DNA and weird stuff like that. We're going to have to have at least two, I think, or maybe three different types of liquid storage 
Plus, if we're going to do power gen, I'd rather have the power gen underground out of sight so we don't have to worry about the ugly. Um, let's do... <laughs> it caught the ugly. Um, dude. And then dude. Okay, awesome. And then we can just do... A little bit of a ramp down. Whoops. Nope. That actually needs to be there. And we're just going to have to carve out some space underneath the dirt layer, but that's fine. I'll do that later off stream. We're at least getting started. If we get the bee houses made, I mean, uh, the uh, aviaries made, we can replace every single one of these. We'll have nine spaces to start with. We do some block exchange for some actual grass blocks. Can we turn these into grass blocks with a, um, a, uh, yes. a Zappo thing? No, oh, God. Scary noise. There we go. Yeah, so that'll that'll actually spread since it's normal dirt blocks. Um, or, or you can just do it all magically. <laughs> uh, but he's so cool, says um, uh, Pirate Tech. Yeah, ads stopped working. Blame me. Going to try Binnies? Or you have a couple of apiaries going as Dragon Racer. Cool, let me know how it goes. This is the I power I have half the Binnies machines made. Yeah, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. oh, Keep in mind we have some of those machines from not exactly Benny's themselves, but like yeah. some of the other machines, like the fermenter and whatever. Yeah, yeah. no, no, you don't. I'm, I'm specifically making the machines under at genetic. Okay. Oh, okay. That. Yeah. Um. Dark oak fencing. Sure. No, that's gonna look weird. Let's not do that. Hang on a sec. It's a very nice background. Um. Picks a day. Video. Are you narking my video backgrounds again? Yes. <laughs> okay. They're nice. Uh, for anybody that like wonders, them. for anybody that wonders how I do the weird moving background video things. Um, behind the scenes. These are from a website called Pixabay. P-I-X-A-B-A-Y dot com. It's all free. And they have videos that are like 15, 20 seconds long that you can loop. And they're awesome. Um, okay. What I'm going to do... Well, that's awesome. The uh, Gender Street Industrial Apiaries have an EMC value. Yep. Lots of that stuff probably going to actually have an EMC value. Um, the the Gender Street stuff. The barrier for forestry is when you have to get a machine and put it through a carpenter and make an impregnated whatever or a scented yada yeah, yada. See, either that's, things make in, yeah, either the things that are made in a carpenter or the thermionic fabricator. Yeah, that's that's where it screws up the EMC values. And I could go declare values for each one of those processes, but I would have to declare it for every item that comes out of that process, and I really don't want to do that. So, um, okay. Nothing looks more hilarious than a chicken flying placing tents. Um, we're gonna do. It'd be even more hilarious if it was chicken wire. <laughs> Actually, I think I can make chicken wire. I did that with the uh, test, not the test, the demo map. Yeah, that chicken wire looked dope. Okay. It was just chiseled glass. <laughs> Specifically because it's employees only. Would you do that? No. Stuff from high place. <laughs> you, you now only that. Kukas die from a high place. <laughs> yes. Because it's employees, Kukas must die. Um. Yeah. Let's turn that off. Um. Dragon Racer asks any plans to do base tours. Yes. Once people actually start getting some bases, they want to have toured. If you actually want to have your base toured on stream, let's organize it. We can go make a post on the subreddit, which we don't have a command for. Also, hi, hi, Tig. Um, we are going to, uh, you can make a thread on the subreddit. Just, you know, uh, 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 Coop Life 2 server base tours. Um, good news, my chunk isn't, base isn't being chunk loaded anymore. That's awesome. Great. 
Uh, that could also be for another reason, but yeah. Uh, also, uh, Lunatic Asylums is, and he doesn't have a chunk loader. And the server isn't set to. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So something is wrong. Yes. Exactly. We have some stuff that's forced chunk loading, and it's bypassing Forge. Just think about the implications of that for a second. Um. Yay. Okay. Uh, yes, we can do base tours, and if you actually have a base that you want to have toured, uh, we can go make a thread on the subreddit, and people can post their uh, tour my base, it's almost ready, or give me a couple of weeks, or whatever, and we can do a base tour some Monday or Thursday night, definitely. We're not going to do them constantly, we'll probably do them like once every couple of weeks, but yeah, there will be base tours. There will be base tours. Okay, um, I'm going to get... Nope, wrong thing. Uh, We're going to need flowers and grass up to... I have flowers. I can plant flowers. Rose. I don't have rose. It's a different color. <laughs> it's a different flower name. Just get bone meal, dude. Right, bone meal. That way you it's get vanilla flowers. Here. That you're what you're insured are vanilla flowers. Okay. Um, nice big storage crate for just random crap. I uh, have a row of machines here, row of machines here. This 3x3 three three wall can be industrial aviaries. Um, we've got a nice fenced-in area. We're going to do some flowers. Uh, yeah, bee yard. And then maybe on Monday's stream, if uh, we've made some progress on some starter bee stuff, we can uh, go over it on stream and explain what's happening. Um, uh, that looks dark. like an overgrown yard. Uh, we can take care of the grass. That's easy. I still have not put small grass in because... I keep forgetting. Somebody needs to remind me with the update tomorrow. All um, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dark Preacher actually has a window to show off. I do need to show that off. And last 10 minutes of the stream, we can actually go over there. So in about 10 or 12 minutes, we can go over there and do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. He has a really nice. Um, a window that got done for him by Pops. Oh, that's break blocks down there, and they're gonna break through that grass block right above you. What'd you say, Aradani? So that is stupidly dumb. What's, um, what's stupid? Stick dumb? an ever, just stick an ever tied amulet into a fluid transposer and stick it on empty. It oh. Is a <sighs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ever tied amulets kind of break things. Um, Project E kind of breaks things. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Oh, Gugus yep. forgot, didn't know the name of our lift. From Hydraulic lift. Galactocraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they asked, Hydraulic platform. Oh, is it? Well, just search for hydraulic and you'll find it. Yes. I need my glow stick. There we go. We saw the, the the birch stairs up here lit up. <laughs> the glow Just in here staring at dark stairs, and next thing I knew, the neon. Do you have a three by three, or does it need power? Does what need power? No, it doesn't. It's awesome. The hydraulic lifts do not need power. Um. Oop. We have no power going to ours. Do I have a hammer? If I had a hammer. Oh, God. Okay, dark matter hammer. Hold on to your butts, ladies and gents. Only charge it once. Blam. No. Almost gone. Charging it once should give it a three by three. And then you right click. Oh, right click. Dear God. Okay. Ah, here we go. Important updates are pending, folks. The newest Windows Features update is ready for you to install. Oh, it wasn't oh, five minutes. Oh. It's more like twenty. Find me later. Um, okay. Let's you do don't that. come any closer to this wall over here. Uh, uh. Then I'm gonna go sit next to the other wall while you. Don't come any closer to the wall over here. Don't move any closer this direction. 
Oh, to where? Oh, to where you are. Okay. Because so, there's, you're. I'm pretty convinced you're like one block away. Yep, I am. I just busted through it accidentally. Um, and then okay. I'm gonna sit my butt over here so you don't break through this wall. I need more el illumination. Fox makes an excellent excavation marker. He's one of the best. Okay. I might have one more zap that I can do. Hang on a second. Let's do that. I'm going to do... Okay. I... Your name seems pretty close. I think you're on the other side of this, so yeah. Yeah, 16 block distance limit. Yeah, yeah. Ow! Sorry. Um, let's put that up, that up, that up. All of that, that. Whoops. I just liquidated my illumination wand. Crap, there's no charge anymore. Oh, well. Um, no, it looks like you could have gone another uh, three more blocks. Oh. Hmm. So. Oh, two more, two more. I was okay. Just about to, you have your magnet on, so you keep stealing the gobbles. So. Yep. Sorry, I'll turn it off. It's fine. I'm gonna actually. Um. Let's get the hammer. Uh, the hammer. Back out. Trademark. What? <laughs> go liquidate that bad boy again let me go get some batteries for my glow stick because I'm a dummy no no okay I'll I can add that command or preacher will beat me to it yeah we actually do need to uh, I keep forgetting heart of dragons is mandatory automation do what I only take is still running 1703 what Oh, that one works. Uh, 17, what? Unholy that that would be the first Craters update. Oh, okay. The Windows version 17.03. Yeah, I, I wish I could stop, but I have... <clears throat> I actually paid for Windows, so of course I have no choice in what I can do with it. I know, Anthony, this is wonderful. Um, oh. She's still on 1607. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the long-term service branch for Windows 10 for Enterprise, which means I don't get feature updates. <laughs> it, it, it is amazing. Essentially, what it, this is actually how Windows should be run. What? Essentially, essentially, what it is is every three years they release a new version of LTSB, but the version, every version, has got 15 years of support. Can I buy that version directly somehow? Uh, through less than licit means, yes. Can I buy it through licit means? Uh, if illicit is illegal, licit should be legal, right? Um, L I C I T. Technically, you could buy it. You could buy keys that actually work. If they're just technically a violation of the terms of service. Oh, eh, I don't want to do that. Um, you broke our terms of service. How dare you! Honestly, I could really care less about the bother TOS. Um, I stopped caring once they started uh, analyzing my telemetry. Wait, terms breaking the terms of service. What does that mean? I could Essentially, get... the only way you're supposed to be able to get enterprise versions yeah. of Windows 10 is if is if you have a volume licensing agreement with Windows, which requires you to be inside of a corporation. But I mean, I is am it, not. Um, is it like a uh, um, get? criminal charges worthy or is it just uh, they're not going to be your friend kind of worthy they, they, they won't be your friend oh, okay I might do that then um, as a personal thing it won't affect you just don't do it as you know a company <laughs> otherwise they'll come and audit your company and um, then they'll take all your stuff yeah I can't do that <laughs> that's that's not a thing I want to mess with then that is true you, um, you are so incorporated aren't you a quick a quick story for everybody um I have known someone who decided it was okay to use 
bootleg versions of uh, Vegas, Sony Vegas Pro, and bootleg versions of Adobe software, like, you know, uh, 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 what's the uh, PDF creator? I can't remember. Uh, Adobe Acrobat. Yeah, yeah, Acrobat and stuff like that. Software that costs hundreds of dollars, they were, you know, using pirated copies of. And they got caught because they were putting PDF content or video content out. And that stuff actually can have watermarks in it. Yes. Or data equivalent of watermarks. It's, it's metadata. That's what it is. Yeah. It's, they can put either actual watermarks you can see or maybe you can't see. Or they can put metadata watermarks into actual things to make it a lot easier for the feds to catch your cheating butt. So I've yep. known somebody that actually did YouTube content and Facebook video content. They got caught, they got audited, and they did actually serve about six months of jail time because of it. Do not mess around with pirating software. It's not worth it. You would never catch me using this version of Windows that I bought in a corporate setting or even if, even on a computer that I was saying doing paid work for on YouTube. So right. at that point, I'm being paid for it. I'm not being paid for anything at this point. Therefore, it's considered personal use. Therefore, even if they did audit me, they really couldn't do anything to me except invalidate the key and uninstall Windows for me. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can totally understand from your case. I think... Uh, are, are you incorporated now? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm actually not... Maybe. I'm not officially, maybe, he says coyly. Uh, I am not officially incorporated, um, but I do have DBAs doing business as and stuff like that. Um, I have. <laughs> bus- definitely don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I have business IDs and whatnot. And um, I, I, you know, I have uh, five different companies that I own. Six, I can't remember. Um, yeah, though, the only way you could do it legally in your case, you'd have to buy a, a subscription to their MSDN service, which is stupidly expensive. Yeah. Um, okay, by the way, folks, notice all the X's. I'm not lighting up the yard. I'm lighting up the cave down here, the under section, because I don't want it to be depressing and dark. That's different. And dim. Yes. I'm not doing it for the sake of monster spawns. We're at Y level 107. Monster spawns can go take a nap for all I care. I don't, whatever. They have no effect on, they can go on our somewhere lives. Else. Yeah, exactly. They have zero influence on our existence right now. So yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to do this. And, uh, um. and, uh, but yeah, on on that topic of uh, yeah, don't use pirated software yeah. in your business. Yeah, we took several part of our capstone class mm-hmm. for my NCIS degree was literally all about ethics and no, you shouldn't do that because if you get caught, it, the world's going to end for you. Yep, that's bad news. <laughs> Ooh, stair um, And if your empl- and if your employer tells you to do it. You get it in writing. That way, yeah. when they come audit you, you can show the guys that are auditing, hey, look, I did it. They forced me to do it. I got it in writing. And then your butt's clear. What are doing? Or as how we say in the biz, CYA, cover yeah. your ass. Yep. I'm going to do single block. Yep, always CYA. Always. Rule number one. I'm actually going to do this. Absolutely beautiful there. What? I haven't seen it yet. Birch. Trying to make it not look like garbage. <laughs> 16 block limit on what? The elevators. The old yeah. ones. There were only like 10. No, uh, Cougars was put setting them up farther than that. I'm gonna actually do this. Do a little frame. Yep. There's all of a sudden hops floating next to me. <laughs> That's weird. Also, I just realized the hops have a semi transparent pixels on them. Okay, where do we want, do we want these apiaries on top of these wood planks for here? 
No. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, replace them. Swap them out. We want them at ground level. Oh, um, okay, so when you break one of those, break the dirt block. Okay. So here's what you do, right? Let me see. Yep. Do we have space? We do have space. Instead of putting, instead of replacing this block, what you do is you put the actual apiary here, but you break this. That way you can put it up against this, and then you can remove this block. Does that make sense? So everything will shift over that your direction, one block. Oh, okay. But, but there will be a hole directly beneath it that we can trick down into the actual, oh God, underground. Oh, oh wait a minute, are these the industrials? No, the industrials go over here. The industrial, uh, okay. That's going to be where the actual, uh, the normal ones, the, the non-powered yeah. boring ones do. That's okay. the uh, that's the uh, b b aviaries, not the alviaries. Um, alviaries are the really high end complex forestry ones. I'm just oh, gonna stay here. Freaking slow. I have nothing to do. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything to do right now. Okay, oh, right we were gonna here. we were gonna look at the tower. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna go over here real quick. You were making progress on it, I think. You are you reworked it or something? I had to rework it to see the layer, oh, yeah. the mosaic that I'm on. I had to kick out one, so I basically made the mosaic the final level on the top, so yeah. I can make the two-block transition clean. Um, I actually think it looks better this way because you've got the nice line on the inside and outside of the parapet. Okay, right yeah. here. Yep. Roll. Yeah, there's a three-by-three three vertical kind of a grid thing. Oh, wow. Uh... Uh, and what? on a wall, what? it's got power cables behind it. Just put all the pull all the industrial ones on. Yeah, exactly. That way we can get some light box upgrades or whatever. No, actually. Yep. This looks a little funky. I'm gonna do that. Let's see if I can make those upgrades actually. Um, at Gendistry. Oh, they yeah, that's what I was thinking of. And yep, then maybe build another layer of wood here, so it's not off. Okay. Another layer of wood where? Ooh, what way? On top of here, so it doesn't look off. Oh, I was actually just going to do that. But it is, they are supposed to actually look lopsided. Okay. I know it's going to be slightly irksome for some folks, but I don't care. Um, I'm trying to make it look like we just got pre-existing space in the side of the hill and we didn't change it very much. Staying more in accordance with nature, if that makes sense. Um, okay. So we could do a little bump in here for some of the specialty storage stuff, the chests that hold bees and saplings and whatnot. Yep. Um, we we'll put just a little bit there. We only need, like, one of each. <laughs> uh, actually, sometimes it's good to have about two or three for the bees alone because there's a lot of bee breeds that we're going to end up with. You have to remember, we've got bees, we've got career bees. Oh, uh, right. And, we've and then got... the, the two different mods for trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a lot of crap. So I could see having two or three bee chests and, like, one or two tree chests, whatever. We'll figure it out. So. What are those? Oh, my Lab stand. The, oh. Yeah. I have one of the basis. analyzers. Um, I made the registry, which is all four analyzers in one. Ooh, okay. So really I just the had one. the analyzer. Yep. There we go. Sweet. Yep, now it's reachable. Awesome. Yep. Uh, so the one on the left will be for all the braids of flowers, butterflies, trees, and whatnot. And then the one on the right is for the actual DNA itself. Very last end of the stream, we can actually go run by Preacher's Base real quick. He might have to give me the coordinates. I actually don't know if I have it. I, I think I have it. Oh, do you? Okay. Um, so basically, over here, what you do is on this bottom row, you put in order the machines that you need to, new, need to use in the order you use them. Does that make sense? Okay. And yep. then you can put on the top row, you can put like the one that makes labware or cleans labware or whatever, you know, stuff like that for Gendistry or if you're doing binnies, I don't know what binnies process is, but this way you can do up here, I mean, in the bottom row, the machines you use in the order that you need to use them. Perfect. Thank you very much, Fox. Um, let's give a white name. Boop. Okay. 
And then across the top, you can put some of the extraneous machines. Uh, if we wanted to, we could have some tanks. Like, you know, Ooh, some ender awesome tanks. underground area. Um, I'm going to need some underground area for uh, Biddy's fluid production. So this, so this is great, actually. Yeah, no, this is how I did it in Coop Life 1. Basically, I just, did right, it in, yeah. I just did it in the square yard. We need to push in farther this way. Um, but that's okay. okay. Yeah, that's awesome. That, that way I have room down there to uh, set up like inoculators to make all the tell, enzymes. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And then what we do... I'm going to need... A master uh -huh. list of bases from Morat at some point. Look through here. This is for automation stuff, so you can make some automation loops with pipes and whatnot. And then over here, we just poke through. We poke through. You use the wood to place the aviaries against. And we'll still be able to access them from the bottom with some item belts. A little bit of filtering, and uh, we can loop some stuff back around or whatnot. Or just empty them out uh, into storage below them and check them periodically. So many bees. There we go. Awesome. So, yeah. There are so many bees. They look like tiny open graves. Um, let's... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, real quick, let's make a detour before the... Everything gets wrapped up, Preacher Base. Um, I have no clue what I'm teleporting into, so I'm just going to bloop. And I'm slip on. Let's let everything actually load up real quick. Apiary or alviary? Um, apiary is the one we want. That's the one block. The alviary is the big multi-block thing that you have all these parts and upgrades and lighting and... Stuff yep. like that. Oh, we're on the roof. Oh, dear God. Okay. Um, Come over to where I am. Where did you jump to? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. You already yeah. found the yeah. side. This is the wondrous, dude. You need to get some backlighting or a layer of white stained glass behind it. Um, uh, Yeah, there is the, the preacher bat right there. And then his, uh, um, what is that, an eclipsing sun? I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the TDP logo looks super nice. Stream started two hours and three minutes ago. Three minutes and 12 seconds ago. I really like that command. Um, Kuga says, maybe I'll put building hanging from the ceiling. Mm. Oh, I like it. Preacher yeah. says it looks better if you're a bat. It does uh, look better if you're a bat. Yes. Oh, that's possible. Actually, hang on a sec. No, ah, I'm falling. Ooh. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> what what did you do? How did you pull that I, off? I, I morphed into a bat while still using the ring for flight, and then I morphed from the bat to my regular character, expecting the ring to kick in instead of the bat flight, and it didn't, and it, it should. didn't come back in. It should kick it. Mine negates fall damage. Swift was rending, ga rending uh, Gale. Mine didn't. Wow, this uses pretty steady pace of EMC. Ooh. I have a client. That's stone. why I'm using the Arcana ring because it doesn't use EMC. Um. Oh, it doesn't. Eh, well, Do have a client star. <laughs> yeah, I have a I have a client star. This is really nice, man. I gotta admit, Pops did some top notch work, but you cleared the inside of the mountain out and shaped it, right? He did, yes. Yeah. How did you do that, preacher? He didn't. Pops did. That's what he says. Pops did that, Grim Tides. I don't have something. Fox, are you, were you around for the beginning of Coop Life 1? I was. Okay. I actually remember I a whole bunch Coop of Life these, I remember a whole bunch of these exact same jokes coming up when Coop Life 1 came around. And we went to visit Preacher's Base, and somebody made the copy bat comment. <laughs> Fox is a copycat. You mean a copy bat? Yeah, I, I remember that joke. Um, yeah. This is Preacher's Pulpit. And it looks amazing. I cannot wait. I really like the... Uh, hang on while my entire client freezes for a second. There's that garbage collection. Yeah, mine it too. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it really looks good. Yeah, after this stream, I'm going to change that 
reboot to twice a day. <laughs> uh, you could do it. I think it's set to once every 24 hours right now, or once a day. You might have to change it to... Uh, you're probably going to have to make a second command, a second scheduled task, and change it for... and set it to once a day, but, like, 12 hours offset from the first one, if that makes sense. Yeah, you'll figure it out. You're a smart kid. Um... Yeah, Grimtide says, Pops, you are insane and awesome. Um, every two days from 6.45. No, not every two days. Uh, That's no, every other day. You need every 12 hours. So, yeah. We can do some more um, base tours later on. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You're right. You change forms, you have to take the ring off and put it back on again. That works, though. Cool. I am going to get my chicken butt back home. Uh, oop. There we go. Whee. And, uh, wow. Fox just folded up out of the floor. That was super weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like he, it's like he rose from the dead. Um... Okay, that's super strange. <laughs> I saw my own character box for a second. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you kind of, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, one minor. There we go. Weird. Um. Okay. Thank you very Oh, wait, wait, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. It. Wah, the stare of doom. Um. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us on this fine, fine Thursday evening edition of uh, Coop Life 2. Thank you very much, Fox, for coming along. Uh -huh. and, and thank you very much, Eridani, for actually uh, uh, unbusying yourself enough to come along. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Eridani is going through this horrible thing called looking for a job. So, uh, yeah. 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 Um, there we go. Ten last bits fired across the bow by Miss Moab. Um, so... Always, why, 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 do you get up before him? Yeah, every single morning, uh-huh. Uh, oh, five bits from all rat. Do we have a points gap that's being closed or something? Oh, no, mall rat's got a distance to cover, okay. Um, imagine waking up to that three inches from your face. Uh, it's happened, yeah, it has happened at least once. Um, anyway, I'm gonna catch you folks later. Um, we are going to have our creative building stream tomorrow at 2 p.m. Texas time. We're going to be working on the second casino. And, uh, that one is, uh, we made some pretty good progress last time. So hopefully we can make more this time. We're not going to spend 30 minutes trying to figure out how to see underwater as a squid. Um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, so let's see. And then tomorrow night, Friday night, movie night with the League of Ordinary Gamers. If you do not know who the League of Ordinary Gamers is, come join the log. It is uh, discord.vagram.com. Step onto the Discord server. Doesn't cost you anything. Hang out with us. We're lots of casual gamers. Uh, no hardcore jerks. We do have some people that are hardcore. They're just not hardcore jerks. Differentiation there. Um, but <laughs> lots of nice people, lots of casual gamers, lots of cool folks. And every Friday night, we do movie nights where you can uh, join in on the fun. Watch us. We use a, web a website called Rabbit, R-A-B-B dot I-T. Um... And we are going to be watching, because everybody needs to see them at least once, and we're just going to do it tomorrow night and get it over with, 2001 A Space Odyssey and 2010, The Year We Make Contact. Uh, they are amazing, confusing, head trip movies that you will be scratching your brain over for probably the next week. But they are cultural icons and, cinemat and, uh, and milestones in cinematography. Just, you know, come along, watch it, get it over with. You're done for your once in your life. Um, yep. I will see you folks later. Yeah, open the pod bay doors out. Exactly. Um, I think that's it. Uh, next live stream after the, next live stream tomorrow is the creative build stream. And then after that, it's going to be more Coop Life on Monday night. So I'll see you folks later. Have a good one. Do not forget, we have tons of content creators in our community that have uh, merch that you can go buy. If you go to shop.vagram.com and you can buy their mugs, their hats, their t-shirts, their backpacks, whatever the case may be. I will catch you folks I'm later. Sorry, Dave. Uh, I'm sorry, Dave. 
I can't do that. I can't do that, Dave. Yeah, I have the standing rule. I was telling my wife about this earlier. I have the standing rule. Uh, if I'm going, if I am ever anywhere, that there might be like, if there's like a robot that sings, it just freaks me the heck out. I don't like it. It makes me nervous. I start to get Hal flashbacks, like legit. Yeah. That has bothered me ever since I was a kid. <laughs> Daisy days. Nope, I'm out. That's it. I'm gone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got you folks. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.